that same new product that we got here, uh, a lot of you out there know that we've been working on some much bigger power applications for the 5 liter Jag Latin Rover supercharged engines. Uh, this is just a part of it which will be included in some big, big kits that we're going to be announcing later on this year, but it's also a product that we have available just for sale, and that is stud kits. So, these are head studs. We got one screwed into the block down here, I'll show you in a moment. And we also have kits for the main girdle, which are here. So there's a larger stud and a smaller stud. We've made both of those. These come with fasteners, they come with the lube. Um, they're full kits for, for an entire V6 or V8 engine. If you come on up here, Brandon, we'll have a look at this engine. This is actually a V6. And when you look down into it here, you're gonna see something's missing. Flip this over, you can have a look at the other side. So, we've talked before in some of our videos about how similar these V6 and V8 engines are. These blocks are dimensionally the same and you can see all that they've done here on the rear of the block is really not just punch out this. There's some slightly different uh, parts of the casting as you can see, but the core structure of the engine is the same. It means they can put the V6 and the V8 into all the platforms that they want to put it into without changing engine mounts, without changing the catalytic converter sections, without changing the front end accessory drive. It makes it very modular. It's an inexpensive way to develop it. It also means these head studs and these main studs will fit in both the V6 and the V8 block. Now, what is the advantage to doing these? In the case of the JLR 3 and 5 liter supercharged engines, they come with a head bolt, um, which isn't as strong as a head stud. But we've also upgraded the material on these significantly. So these are aluminum blocks. They come with aluminum heads. And one of the challenges with aluminum is that the thermal coefficient for expansion on aluminum is three times higher than it is on steel. So if you imagine this block sitting on here, you have the block uh, and you have the head sitting on top of it, both of them trying to expand as they heat up, and the head stud here and the fasteners for it holding that all together. Over time, especially if the engine gets hot or overheats, or if we tune it, if we increase boost and increase the in-cylinder pressures, there's more and more heat ex causing expansion and more and more pressure trying to push that head up off the block. So these studs are made in the United States. They're made by a specialist manufacturer for fasteners. Um, their standard base level material standard quality is already higher than a standard ARP fastener, which is a common application people will be familiar with. So this is a very, very high grade of fastener. Uh, if you're just rebuilding an engine, it's a nice upgrade to put into there. If you're going to build an engine for high horsepower levels and running a lot more boost, this really is a must, along with a much higher level uh, quality on the head gasket side. So, uh, not a super exciting piece, but a critical piece if you want to build an engine for high horsepower. Um, anybody out there who's done that before or knows anything about it will understand that going to a much higher quality, or fa quality of fastener is going to massively increase your ability to keep this engine together, prevent head gasket issues.